Hey guys, it's Todd. How is everybody? I hope everybody's doing all right. Anyway, uh, this is going to be a big video. Well, it's going to be long, but I'm going to try to compress it. Compress it down a bit for the simple reason. I'm going to show, in this video, I'm going to show all my 65 Bonnevilles. Mo I think most of these have, at one point or another have been all on camera, but it's been a while. And uh, um, so I figured this would be a good chance. I've shown all my cars that have come in. I still have a few more come waiting to come in. So I figured, well, I'll uh, give a chance here to show some of my newer subscribers one of my all-time favorite cars. Uh, and that's like I said the 65 Pontiac Bonneville so anyway this one here this is a blue one you're gonna see guys there's some that are blue <coughs> oh excuse me um, they're they'll have the same color but they'll have different wheel variations and so forth and so on so anyway it's uh, time to get the party started so we're uh, like I say, we're gonna. Uh, you guys now can check out all my Bonnevilles, and uh, happy to show you. As you can see, they're pretty sweet. Pretty sweet. Again, you know, I like I like these cars for the simple. Yeah, they weren't really known for muscle. I mean, they had some torque and that. I mean, it's a big car. <coughs> Pardon me. Sorry about that. The coffee went down the wrong pipe. Um, they're not a car known for speed. You know what I mean? You wouldn't consider these a muscle car now, but I still think these are the ultimate cruiser. I like. I just like the body lines on it. Yeah, it's a big car. No doubt about it. Um, but I like the wheel skirts here on the back. Um, you know, it, it's... Just a wicked car, and I like these. I also like the old Pontiac Catalinas. I also like the old Pontiac uh, Grand Prix and the Parisian. So, um, the Bonnevilles I liked right up until uh, about '78 or so, and uh, I like some of them even in the early '80s. They weren't bad as well, but th regardless, th this the, the '65 for me is the best year for all the Bonnevilles. So you see it's got the white lines on, uh, white sidewalls on it. It's got the flame working out. Again, I'm not a big fan of the flame cars, but I do like this. This is pretty sweet. And, uh, absolutely. I would love to have one of these. These, like I say, these cars were, they were long, they were big, they looked cumbersome kind of, but, uh, they just do not make these anymore like this. Uh, they haven't for a long time. So, alrighty, my friends. We're going to keep on rolling here. Here's another one right here. Pretty sweet. Again. Oh, the car decided to roll. There we go. It, it's, uh, I like this one. This one's kind of got a different, um, pattern on it. I like the wheels on it. I like all these, even the ones with the planes and that. I do have a few with some graphics. I like them. And I, I like the car, especially. But I do enjoy, um, I am glad, um, you know, that Hot Wheels decided to come out with these as a casting for sure. I know I'm tickled, I was always tickled pink when I first come across my very first one back a few years ago. And uh, my collection of these is built, has grown, and I think I've pretty much got all the variations. There might be a couple, I'm not talking anything restored or customized, but um, I think there might be one or two left that I do not have. But I, I feel pretty confident that I got at least, or in saying... I probably got at least 85 or 90% of the Bonnevilles that have been issued so far to this moment as we speak. So, pretty sweet. But as I said, my friends, we're going we're gonna to keep it rolling. And uh, as I said at the start of the video, it gives an opportunity for me to show some of my uh, newer subscribers. 
I know, well, there was one that was on camera the other day in a challenge video, but aside from that, these cars haven't been on camera in quite a while, so I thought, well, you know what, I don't have any new material coming in here at the m for today, so I figure, well, this has got to be the, this will be the opportunity now to, to show uh, my new subscribers. This one does have the real riders on it. This is pretty sweet. And uh, this this one come out in, let's see. I can't read that, but anyway guys, that's still a pretty cool variation. I'm trying to I'm trying to go through them here quick because we have we haven't even done it. <coughs> excuse me, we haven't even put a dent in these yet, so don't mind me. I'm just trying to trying to keep her rolling here. I want to show all you guys all all my bonnies. This is sweet, man. I, now this here, I just this video, I I I thought about it last night. What what should I do for a video here for this morning? and uh first thing come right up i'm gonna do my bonnie so i've been actually kind of stoked to bring these do a, a special video just dedicated to them again i'm old school i'm an old school type of guy and i like these this is just absolutely wicked every single one of these and uh yeah i don't uh you know I, I looked the other day on eBay for any different variations. I didn't see any, so. But I think there is one or two that I do not have still yet. But uh, if I can if I can get my uh, if I can get my grabbers on it, I'm going to do that. You know what I mean? So, alrighty, guys. Now we're going to do another. And uh, just, I have a car, I have some doubles. Uh, the next car coming up is a double. And uh, I also have a couple other cars coming up a little bit down the line. They're doubles as well. but Or I have doubles, I should say. But anyway, look at that. This is just absolutely sweet. This is awesome. Alrighty, my friends, we're gonna we're gonna keep her. Like I say, I want to keep her going because, as you see, and I want I want this one here. I do have doubles on, uh, but I'm not gonna show the the other one as well. And uh, yeah, I like the colors on some of these. These some of these colors are just w absolutely sweet. If you ask me, my friends, these here, right up here with my Chevelles, uh, I love my Impalas, uh, yeah, I love my Dodge Coronets, these type of cars that are, you know, in my top five or, you know, top ten favorite cars of all time, but I can assure you my, my Bonneville here, they're definitely top three, probably Bonneville, uh, my Novas, or excuse me, my Impalas, and, uh, and my Chevelles, I should say. This is absolutely wicked. I'd love to go for a cruise, or better yet, I'd love to have one of these sitting in my driveway. Absolutely. Alrighty, my friends. As you can tell, you're starting to probably get a, a feel now that we we've uh, I've got quite a few of these. Still got six. Still got nine, nine or ten left to go. So, I'm gonna give them a couple of rotates rotations here on the wheel, and then we're gonna pull them off. But this is pretty sweet. Again, the graphics are not bad. I would never do graphics on a on a Bonneville like this myself. I wouldn't. But again, teach your own and. Uh, now this is an older one, uh, yeah, this is an older one, I believe, and uh, uh, 
I don't remember my very first one, to be honest with you. I have no idea. I think it's... Hmm. Yeah, I think it's... It could be... It, you know what? It could be this one. If not, it might be one that might be coming up here, my friends. And uh, this is an older one. I do know that. It's been in my collection for a while. Yeah, pretty sweet. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you could definitely live in the trunk of that thing there. You watch TV, put a couch in there, you know what I mean? Big cars, but they don't get any finer than this. All righty, my friends. Here we go. We're going to do an. Now this is a funky one here. This is from the Graffiti Rides. I do remember this. This one I wasn't big on when I first got it. And I did get it because primarily for my Bonneville collection. But eh, this isn't bad. It's kind of, you know, it's kind of grown on me a little bit. And uh, it's a Graffiti Ride. But yeah, this car definitely been tagged. Um, I, uh, as you can see, the... The graffiti on there this one I didn't warm I have to admit I didn't warm up to as much as the other ones and uh, I do like this now yeah, I've had this now for for a few years um, I haven't to be honest with you I have not bought any new uh, Bonnevilles in quite a while and uh, uh, yeah so but this one I was not overly, overly fond of for the longest time. I will say that. But uh, I don't mind her now. And, uh, you know, because I'm not a big fan of all the special graphics and all that I, other stuff. I just, I just like them a straight color or maybe a little bit of graphics or whatever on them. So, you know, uh, but again, to each your own. Now this one here is a Texas car, so there's no rust on it. I bought this on, I did get this from a seller in Texas on eBay. Yeah, there's definitely not a Canadian car because there's no rust on it, so. Pretty sweet. I, I won this on an auction. And now this might be my newer one. I bought this maybe a couple of years ago. Um... And as I was saying, I, I just have not um, got any new Bonnevilles in quite a while. So this would probably be one of my newer editions. But again, I've had it probably, uh, like I said, for probably at least two years. Bought it on auction and uh, I think I was the only bidder on it. So but definitely pretty out of sight. I like the red on this. Um, yeah, I could ramble on and on about these cars all day, but, uh, I'm not going to do that to you fine people in Boreas, you know what I mean? So, here you see, here's another, now this is another, now this one, this variation here, my friends, is another older one. I can tell kind of by the wheels. Um, again, I'm not 100% sure on what year it come out, but I do know that this is an older one. I've had this one for a while and uh, this is cool though it's kind of a flat black um, I like all these to be perfectly honest I like all these variations and uh, uh, you know obviously it's like it's like anything else you have you have your favorites you know the other ones, yeah, you like, but they're not your favorite, or so forth and so on. But uh, for the most part, I like all these variations. Here's another one here, my friends. Now these, I think, come out. These ones, I think, come out from the Hot Wheels Classics a few years ago. I do believe these ones come out in around 2004, 2005, and. Uh, uh, so, yeah, I've had these for a number of years. I do have some Bonneville still carded. I have one that's an error that's packed, is put in the blister pack the wrong way. 
Uh, and I do, I think I have another one, but they're in the box. Uh, they're in my storage room now, but um, I think I have another one that's got a wheel air. It's got different wheels on it. So, um, I obviously, I'm not going to open them, but, uh, yeah, it, uh, I know I've got, I've got at least four, um, four in the, uh, in the, uh, uh, blister pack, so, pretty sweet, pretty sweet, so, alrighty, my friends, we're getting down there now. Look at this, this is pretty wicked too. Yeah, it's got the flame work, but again, something that I don't mind. I don't feel it's right over the top. Um, I like the big white walls and that on this. Again, this is pretty sweet. I'm still at 16 minutes. My God. Oh, we're looking at a 20 minute video, so I apologize, guys. I tried to keep her down low, but to do this right, I want to show you all in one one shot here so but i think you guys will enjoy checking these out i know i'm enjoying this uh in showing these to you like i say these cars don't get on camera all the time and uh pretty sweet you can see the flame work all righty so here we go now this is an older one here uh now this just got the normal pr5s on it the next one I have, it's got the different wheels as well. Um, so, actually, what I'll do, maybe I'll do it this way. Yeah, we'll try it this way. As you can see, these are both the same. And, uh, see, the one's got the PR5s on it. This one's got the PR5s, this one's got the different wheels on it. So there is a couple of differences in some of these cars, as I was saying earlier in the video. Um, but, yeah, these cars are the same other than just the wheels. And, uh, as you can see, the different wheels. So, that's why um, I, uh, I've, I've got these two in my collection, just for the simple fact they have the different wheels. So... But it's pretty wild though, my friends. I do it. Like I say, I enjoy my Bonnevilles. I hope you guys enjoy checking these some of these out. I'm enjoying sharing them with you. And uh, we're down to, after these two, we're down to one. So, alrighty, my friends. I hope you enjoy checking these out. Now, I think this green one I just showed you with the PR5s, my friend, I think happens to be maybe one of my very first ones that I have purchased. Now this is my last car, my last of the Bonnevilles here, so I tried to, oh geez, we're going to be, yeah, we'll be over 20 minutes here. I apologize again, as I was saying. I tried to keep my videos uh, shorter, but I knew this was going to be a long one. Look at this, all these, and all these cars, as you can tell, guys, they're, they're mint. Um, so... Yeah, I really enjoy this. I like this variation. I do. I'm not sure where. It, I know I did. I did buy this on an. I did get this on an auction at e, on eBay back a year, maybe a couple years ago as well. Not a hundred percent sure, but anyway, she's in my collection now, and that's where she's staying. So. But guys, I hope you enjoyed uh, checking these Bonnevilles out. As I said a moment ago, I really enjoyed sharing these with you. I've been kind of stoked to show you these ones. And, uh, you know, as always, guys, I do I do appreciate you taking the time to check my videos out. Again, I do apologize for this one being a, a long video. And, uh, you know, as always, stay safe out there, my friends. And uh, happy hunting and keep collecting. And we'll talk to you real soon here.